open up a loaf of bread to spread it out. I remember I almost ain't made it out. You too old, you just keep trying to burn it out. She said, no, we'll see you can get me out. I said, no, I cannot. I can beat it out. Put it in and she screaming like, take it out. There's no feelings with no unreal. I love this guy. I love this guy. I love this guy. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. As y'all can read by this title, this vlog is gonna be my journey of buying a car. If you watch me, you already know I have a Tesla Model Y, but it's time to switch it up. My dad gave me that car, but now I'm gonna buy my own car. I'm not exactly sure what car I'm gonna buy, so this is gonna be like literally the journey. I have no idea what car I'm gonna buy. If I'm gonna buy another Tesla, I'm thinking about BMW. My heart goes to Mercedes, I'm not gonna lie. I love a Mercedes, so so yeah those are just the three brands that i'm thinking about right now tesla bmw and mercedes but i'm more leaning towards right now bmw and tesla so today is october 21st i believe me and my dad right now are gonna go to bmw because i'm shopping for a car but he's shopping for a car as well so we're both getting new cars <laughs> and my car is actually in the shop now because someone crashed into me like two months ago but yeah i'm actually gonna pick up my car in a few days it'll be ready but i don't have no car right now so i'm shopping for a new car even though my car is in the shop when i get my car i'll have my car for a little bit longer but then eventually i'm gonna get a new car yeah today we're gonna go to bmw right now and if we have time we're gonna go to ben's and i'm just gonna see what i like test drive talk to people and yeah i'm gonna just bring y'all along this is gonna be a long process it's probably gonna take a few months but i'm gonna vlog everything for y'all let's go so day one of car shopping we came to bmw of manhattan and at this point i honestly knew nothing about bmw I just knew they were luxury cars but also fast cars so they're made for performance and luxury I was interested so I came with my dad to see if I will find something I like I didn't know about any models I think the only model I knew about that I kind of liked was the x4 so I was actually coming in interested to see that car but I was also open to seeing sedans and coupes the reason why I was interested in the x4 is because my Tesla was considered an SUV so I am used to bigger cars so I was like okay I'm most likely just gonna want to get a SUV again and my price range like I wanted to stay under the 60s yeah that's what I was coming in to see so I was looking around at different cars and then eventually I found the 330i which you guys are seeing right now with these peanut butter seats and I actually really liked it okay it's touchscreen yeah I like that the wheel this feel like a sports car wheel not gonna lie this is so different. Let me see. Can I open this? How do you open this? I don't know. But I love these seats. Like, I honestly know that I either want the interior brown or red like this. Look at guys. I was honestly looking at the BMW X4. It's way bigger than this. I think it's probably faster than this too, but this is cute. I ended up test driving the 330i, but wasn't able to drive it myself because I'm under 25, so I let my dad drive the car. We spoke with the salesperson a little bit, but I still wasn't ready to make a final decision yet because I still wanted to explore other options. Okay guys, it's the big day! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So it is December 11th, Monday, and me and my dad up guys are currently on the way to bmw of brooklyn that's where we will be picking up my brand new 2024 bmw 330i period so i'm really excited i actually paid for my car like i would say about a week ago maybe a week and a half ago i'll tell you more information like more details about how everything like the process and how everything went down a little bit later on in the video today i'm just picking up the car so this should be pretty simple and yeah i'm really excited i don't have a tesla anymore i'm now a beamer girl and i feel like i'm really excited with my choice i feel like i made a good choice because i was looking at several cars i was looking at the gla 250 from mercedes i was also thinking about maybe getting a new tesla i was looking at the x4 from bmw but it just made more sense to get the 3 series and i'm really happy with my choice so we're almost there we're like nine minutes away so yeah i'll just see y'all when i'm there i mean where the fuck should i really even start i got holes that i'm keeping in the dark i got my niggas cross the street living large Thinking back to the fact that they dead, thought my raps were the facts, so they sat with the bars. I got two phones, one need a chunk. Okay, guys, we're here. 
Oh, you want to put it? You want to see everything? Yes. Okay, guys. I got my keys. B M W Brooklyn. Oh, it's just a box for my keys. I think it's all that. Oh, that's nice. I got a nice pen and keychain. Oh my gosh, I never had car keys before, guys. I have no idea what to do with these. All right, I guess I. Uh huh. Okay, okay. Got a blast. <laughs> Period. <laughs> no. This car is fire. Oh my gosh. Pop out looking like a knockout. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the bag. Guys, I came over here and I bought the car and I didn't even like look at it. So this is like my first time seeing my car because I literally like ordered it. Like he just showed me a picture and I was like, yeah, I'll take that one. Turn it on. I don't I have no idea how to do any of that. Press start. Oh, press the button. Yeah. Right here. My first time pressing start. All right. Wait, what happened? Oh, I got to press the brake. Press the brake and then press the start. Oh, nah. Nah. My nah, car is crazy. <laughs> My car is on fire! Yo, y'all gonna know when a real baddie is pulling up. When you hear that sound. Red guts. You know the vibes. Red seat's my favorite color. The car sounds like it was growling. It sounds mad nice. Oh my god. Guys, this is all me right here. So this is a 330i. Let me just remind y'all. Not the end. It's not no competition. But 330i base. It's, it's nice though. I'm really happy. Yep. So I'm put on my license plate. So this car has 255 horsepower. Look at my wheels though. They look so nice. So, so, so nice. So happy. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, you're moving different. So open up the settings on your phone. I'm just gonna connect your phone for you. I'll go to Bluetooth. Okay, okay go all the way down. Phone connected to the car. So whenever you need to go on Maps or whatever, just go on Google Maps and type in the address and it's gonna send it right to the car. Um, temperature controls are all on the bottom now. So click here. You can adjust the temperature. And then your heated seats and stuff like that. And then your fan speed. Okay. So the two front seats heat up? Only the two front seats, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sunroof, I'm sure you know how to use. I have no idea how to use any of this. You, oh, the Tesla didn't have a sunroof, right? Like, it was just all glass. Yeah, so, so this thing right here, pull it back. Oh, it's a That's for the shade, yep. And if you want, so open up the shade. So in the middle, you could push that up. So that kind of tilts it a little bit. So okay. just a little bit of air gets in, so you know, you don't get really dark. This key, the lock button is the BMW logo. If you hit it three times, it's gonna start the car, right? Every time you do it that way, the car automatically puts on the handbrake. It's just a safety thing, just in case so the car doesn't roll. Okay. So this whole screen is a touch screen, just like your dad's car. Um, you could use the knob if you don't wanna use the touch screen. Hey guys, so it is a new day. Clearly, if you couldn't tell, I look completely different. But it is actually December 31st. When y'all saw me get this car, I believe I got this car December 11th. So it's 20 days later. So yes, I've been in this car for two and a half weeks. I feel like I've been in it forever, honestly. I'm just so used to it by now. Except like the little things that I'm still learning about this car. Like I learn new things about this car every single day. It's still some things that I don't know how to work with this car regarding the technology. But driving, I know how to drive this car. I know how to whip this car car my review after two weeks of this bmw 330i i love it it's my first time having a beamer y'all know i had a tesla and i love bmw i could honestly say bmw is one of my favorite car brands now i have mad fun driving this car even though it's not as fast as my tesla it's about like actually 200 horsepower less than my tesla i still love it i i love this car i love this car 
I love this car. I love this car. We're coming towards the end of the video and I just wanted to end off the video talking a little bit about the buying process because I didn't get to record the day I actually went and put money down. And I didn't even record me like signing any papers so I felt like I just needed to talk about that a little bit and I was like why not end with a car tour. Before we get into that I just want to say thank you God for allowing me for blessing me for guiding me blessing me with a new car i know i'm blessed more than materials like further than materials but like i recognize this as a blessing straight from the lord i wouldn't have this without god and of course my father i wanted to give a big thank you to my dad because he just helped me with everything literally would not be able to have got this car without him so yeah i'm just so grateful for my dad yay and y'all literally see him in the vlog like he's with me from the first day to like when i went and picked up the car like so thank you god thank you to my dad thank you to y'all because i would not even be able to buy this car if it wasn't for y'all so thank you to everyone even watching this video even if it's your first time watching my video right now thank you very much yeah so i just feel like i definitely needed to say that i know first day of this video was like october and then we skipped to december but then there was a second day that i didn't record because i don't know why i didn't record i ended up buying my car from bmw of brooklyn and Instead of BMW of Manhattan and I went just to talk to the guy about numbers and again to decide which car because I still wasn't sure between the 330i or a x4 still not sure about a year either because I was thinking about a used x4 first I was thinking about a brand new x4 then I was like girl you gotta relax like who are you trying to stunt for so I was like all right maybe I could get like a 2021 x4 and then I just decided like girl just go brand new just go brand new I'm thinking I'm just going to the guy to talk to him and it just so happened to be the last day of the month it was like november 30th or november 31st whatever and he was like if you buy a car today since it's the last day of the month like i will give it to you for a very good price he gave me a lot of discounts i think he gave me about like three thousand dollars off so that's a tip for y'all if y'all want to go buy a car buy a car on the last day of the month because that's when they're really trying to sell cars so they'll literally approve anybody they're gonna try to give you a discount they're trying to sell you a car but i still have my tesla at the time so i was like okay i could buy a car today i could put money down today but i cannot walk out with this car because i still have a car in my hands that i need to get rid of so he was like okay like we'll hold it. i was like can you hold it for like two weeks because i also dead just paid my tesla note so i was like i'm not gonna pay my tesla note and then three days later i'm buying a new car like let me get my tesla worth like i literally just paid my note for that month so they held it for me for like two weeks two weeks later i went and picked up my 330i yeah and actually when i did buy it that day he was showing me on the screen different ones so i really wanted a m sport package i wanted the 330i m sport package but the m sport package that they had had black seats i can't do a black interior i'm not a cab driver i will never get black seats i don't like black seats so i was like no i'm gonna get the one with the red seats but the one with the red seats didn't have the m sport package but i was like you know what i'm gonna just get it i like white on the outside i like red on the inside everything else so the other one was brooklyn gray on the outside with black interior but it was an m sport package meaning the grill was fire it, the grill looked a little bit different than this car nonetheless i'm still satisfied with my car so i chose this car two weeks later i recorded for y'all i went to go see it and that was honestly my first reaction to this car because i never saw it before like i said i only saw it on the computer screen so i put down 5800 and my notes is around 600 for y'all information because i feel like y'all will want to know this is for anybody who's interested in buying a car or specifically buying this car this is not for the nosy people i'm just telling y'all if y'all interested this is how it looks those are like the numbers that we settled on yeah i'm really satisfied with my car so let's just start the car tour when you first come in the car in the driver's seat obviously it says welcome danielle period i could tap it and change the id i could also use this to change the id to move it around so this is me obviously i could change my picture this is my dad he has his own id in the car he was driving around my car when i was in jamaica go watch my jamaica vlog it'll probably be out soon after this video so yeah he was having fun driving my car even though he has his own car he liked my car i have a continue as guest id just in case anyone else was to drive my car that is not either me or my dad they drive under guests so i'm just gonna select me once you're done choosing the id it just has all of this right here i usually don't scroll here at all i've actually never seen this i actually never scrolled here so you can scroll this way see the weather um phone music yeah it shows like the next upcoming songs you could go here so yeah then it has these little apps 
you could change your ID here, mobile devices. My phone is connected through CarPlay. Well, actually it's connected through Bluetooth right now, but CarPlay is super annoying to me because it doesn't really let me FaceTime. I don't know why, but I do like to use CarPlay for maps. Whatever map is on my phone just instantly pops up here. So that's what I use CarPlay for. It just has all these things. Spotify, I use Apple Music though for my phone. It has its own navigation if I don't want to use the iPhone navigation. I'm still learning how to use this, guys. If you have any tips, so let me know yeah this is just it let's play with interior lighting where's that at okay, right here i always have my lights pink then when you switch to my dad's id he usually has them green which looks cool too so that's another thing it sets the, the seat settings the light settings and just preferences little preferences and then you could put down the lighting like you could dim it low you see how it got low or i could put it high and then it gets more vibrant um, and I feel like that's enough of this because I really still don't know how to use this. So see here, you can see the cars in park. I'm just going to turn the car off up here. The lights and what's not. I'm going to turn those off. Right here, it turns on this light. Here, it turns on this light. Here, it turns on all the lights, even in the back. And then now this button turns all the lights off too, even in the back. So this is the thing that moves the screen, whatever. These buttons, I have no idea. I don't use them, but maybe I should start. I have no idea what these buttons are. I don't use them. <laughs> this button, um, it like puts it in park so I don't have to keep my, my foot on the brake, which I'm also not used to because in the Tesla, you don't have to keep your foot on the brake the whole time. It literally doesn't move unless you put your foot on the gas. That's something I had to adjust to in this car. I don't use these buttons either, not gonna lie. So then let's go up here. I forgot what wood this is called, but I love this wood. I love my interior of my car. I love this wood that it has here. And then I could just press it, and then I have the cup holders. I could put a USB in there. Right here I have wireless charging. So when I put my phone there, it charges. Um, my Tesla also had this, but my Tesla had it for two phones. So like one phone could go here, one phone could go here. And it was more easily accessible. This is kind of like... I have to squeeze my hand in there, but whatever still works. Right here we have the air stuff, whatever it's called. And then volume, I don't really use this. Hazard lights, I guess to go forward, to go backward on a song. This, I never use these either. I should have learned more about my car before coming on here. I'm just showing y'all what I know. So I guess this has something to do with the vents and stuff. Like to put it max and then maybe to put this in the back because it says rear let's move on to the wheel i don't know why my wheel is dirty my dad's fault because when i came back from jamaica my wheel was dirty and i literally just got a car wash yesterday i don't know why they didn't clean the wheel but anyways this is my beautiful bmw wheel i love this wheel i love it way better than the tesla wheel because it's just luxury it feels like it's good quality and it feels like a race car wheel so i love it this button is to turn the heated steering wheel on on. so this is to put the volume up on the song volume down skip a song go back on the song this is to talk to the car usually when you're trying to say an address to put in whatever you want to tell the car to do you press this tell it what to do but i'm not gonna lie the technology on this car is not really that good also with my dad's car with his x7 m60i and that's a hundred thousand dollar car and the technology just really doesn't give, I guess, because we're spoiled by Tesla. Because the Tesla technology is A1, up to par, up to date. It works perfectly. It's just like an iPhone, super smart. This car, every time I tell it something to do, it never works. Every time I tell it an address to go to, it never works. So this button really just annoys me. That's something that annoys me about the car. This, I have no idea what this button is. This is when someone calls me, I easily pick up so I don't have to look at my phone. I don't know what any of these things are, so I don't touch them. But let's go on to the door, get my beautiful ambient lighting on the door. So right here is how I move the mirrors. So when I scooch this over to this side, that is the right mirror, scooch it over to this side. That is the left mirror. This is how I set the seat position. I have one seat position. I never did a two seat position, but I know I have one seat position. But I always move my seat depending how I feel on the day anyways. So yeah, and depending on the time, if I'm tired, if I'm awake, and then these are front two windows back two windows once again no idea what this is so this is to unlock the car lock the car i have like some space here i usually have a water bottle here because i'm always thirsty but yeah i love my red interior so beautiful so i feel like that's it for the front of the car i wish i could tell y'all more about this but i really don't use this i really don't know how to use this but you see it says goodbye danielle every time i turn the car off it says goodbye every time i 
come into the car it says hi i have a compartment space right here i need to take this out i know but just open this for y'all i have some boring papers so let's close it up and then i have another compartment space right here i don't know what this is my dad and my stepmom put this in my car the first day i got it i literally don't know why so that's all for that so this is the back of my baby so beautiful i love the red interior like how could i get a black interior like that is so boring i love my red baby let's go in this is the first time i'm in the back of my car i never been in the back of my car so i have some room back here i'm not gonna lie this seat is not all the way up but it's kind of i can't believe i drive with my seat that back but i do my mom says i'm a guy but i like to be comfortable so back here we have the air vents this is my first time seeing all of this literally because i've never been back here i guess to turn it on oh it turned on so you could put some heat on you can make it colder you see the temperature going down temperature going up i have some chargers so my guests could charge their phone i'm not greedy they don't have to use my charger all the way up they get their own chargers back here but let's turn this off back here we just have the door handle the window yeah let's put that all the way up it goes all the way up by itself period they have their ambient lighting back here too you know you need the ambient lighting hey, that's just the back of my car so beautiful i love my car yo <laughs> this car is so beautiful yeah man and that's my car guys y'all already saw the front my wheels i think are 19 or 20 but i love these rims so much so let me open it period that's the end of this video one i hope y'all enjoyed this video two i hope y'all found something informational or something you could take away from this video three thank you so much for watching catch me in the next video shop my hair this is 30 inch three bundles of 30 inch i have a whole bunch of three bundle deals going on right now but yeah thank you so much for watching i love y'all bye